In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create minimalistic infographic design in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here the first option comes. I've used this uh, kind of a teardrop design with the icon and then you can add some title along with some detailed text. When I click you know, with a different color combination, it comes a second option, the third, fourth and fifth. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this QR code and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose this rectangle uh, diagonal corners rounded. Just draw a design, maybe this much size shape outline i'm going to give some gray color here shape fill i'm going to make it no fill and then i'm going to rotate it to flip horizontal and then i'm going to add one more design where i'm going to the shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to draw a teardrop draw a teardrop design by holding the shift key again shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color later on we can change it and rotate i'm going to make it flip horizontal all right now again if you like to increase the size you can hold the shift key and you can increase the size and make sure that this is this has to touch the left uh, line and at the bottom line as well now i would like to cut the bottom part but unfortunately uh, this particular option is not available in powerpoint but if you are using illustrator we can easily do it but anyhow so let me just reduce the size a little bit all right now i would like to cut this part as i said we cannot do that one instead what we can do is we can make use of the freeform shape all right so let me just uh, increase the weight to two quarter maybe then go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose the freeform shape and i'm going to start from this section you can see or let me just zoom in so that you can see exactly what i'm trying to do all right so let me just reduce it a little bit so that i can see it clearly yeah so now i'm going to start from this particular point so just click it and hold the shift key and make a straight line till this part and click it once you may remember you need to hold the shift key so now here there's a curved line so here i'm again i'm holding the shift key why are we using the shift key because we need to get the straight line otherwise it can come like this or like this all right so again hold the shift key and click it this end now i cannot make it curve later on we can do it so here i'm going to again click it without holding the shift key and then come to the down again hold the shift key and double click that's it so we got the shape all right so let me just put this color as a red now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this as a curve shape for this one okay if you want i can just increase the weight also now for this i'm going to right mouse click edit point you can see here i've got one two three four five points so this particular point i'm going to choose let me just zoom in all right and i'm going to drag it like this all right and here also i'm going to choose and i'm going to drag it like this all right so again if you want to change you can just change it so i end up getting a shape like this now i don't want this shape i'm going to simply delete this one and this color also i'm going to fill this one with red color and shape outline make it no outline and this one if you like to increase the outline weight you can just increase it so we end up getting like this and make sure this is properly aligned all right this is properly aligned okay so you need to spend a little bit of time to do the proper alignment i think this is properly aligned now so now i'm going to select this shape press ctrl g to group it move this aside and hold the ctrl shift key add one more here again hold the ctrl shift key so depending on your requirement how many shapes your options you need 
so maybe i'm going to go with the five options and let me just select all the options and make sure that equal spacing is there in between these objects so for that go to the shape format align and just say distribute horizontally all right now this particular shapes i'm going to select the alternate one and then i'm going to rotate it with flip vertical all right now for this shape i'm going to give a different color which is blue and the line is also i'm going to choose the blue so the same thing goes here so this blue and this one it's blue all right so you can see here my shapes are ready now it's time to go to insert icons and i'm going to add few random icons so depending on your requirement you can just add any icons of your choice and click insert and here i'm going to move this aside and i'm going to make the height and width as 0.6 all right and then i'm going to add one by one here you can see here whichever icon i'm just going to place it like this and then i'm going to hold the shift key select this icons and graphic fill i'm going to make it this white then go to insert text box i'm going to type title 01 make it bold any font of your choice you can choose and i'm going to give the color as blue all right so let me just remove the bold here all right i can increase it and then hold the control shift key i can just add it for the titles here again press control d to duplicate i'm going to add it here again hold the control shift key and this too i'm going to make this as a red color then go to insert text box equals lorem within bracket one I don't want this much large large text I'm going to delete this one reduce the size I'm going to give as a gray color all right let me just increase it and done so I'm just going to place it hold the control shift key make sure it is aligned properly and for this also I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to put it here for this one and here also i'm going to hold the control shift key and done so once this is done i'm going to select these objects press ctrl g one by one you can see here i'm just highlighting this one with the help of the mouse and press ctrl g to group it done so once this is done you can go to the animations animation pane I can just select all these options and maybe I can just make it a fly in fly in I can make it on click and this should come from maybe from the bottom and this should come from top okay so if I play it comes one two three four and five 